Big Mike here with Ace Entertainment. Today's episode, we got NHL top prospect. We're looking at top five pick here, guys, in the NHL draft 2021. William Eklund. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for a mug, perhaps a hoodie, head on over to IonlyTouchGreatness.com. My name is Will Macklin, uh, NHL prospect, and I'm on I'm on a type of greatness. And Big Mike. I never stop. I only touch greatness podcast. Only Touch Greatness podcast yeah. with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. We are going live. There he is. Hey, William. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. You? Good, good. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time for us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Big Mike and that's Ryan. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, your, your English is pretty good. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to ask you a bunch of questions about hockey, so we'll get started here. Um, growing up in Sweden, what was childhood like? It was good. You know, it was uh, hockey from the beginning, pretty much. Uh, grew up with a, with a father playing hockey uh, since I was, like, yeah, just a little kid. So, watching him every day play hockey. So, you know, it was hockey from day one, to be honest. Okay, did you play any other sports growing up? I played soccer for like one year or something like that. Uh, but uh, it was like pretty much hockey every time. Yeah. Well, you, you definitely made the right decision. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's one challenge you came across in getting to where you are today? Yeah, it's been a few few challenges. Uh, you know, uh, like some... Yeah, some some injuries and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, just like look at this here, some some uh, some things that I can't control of, you know, and uh, that's been been tough, but uh, it's a good learning process too. Yeah, we were hoping to cheer you on at the World Juniors, and uh, unfortunately, that was the thing you're just talking about was the COVID situation. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that would would have been amazing, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Do you have any uh, nicknames, and what's your favorite jersey number, and why? Uh, nicknames? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Willie. Willie. Yeah. Okay. Call me that sometimes, and uh, I don't know. I don't have any like favorite jersey right now, number or something like that. I get they gave me seventy two when I came came to the to the men's team in U Garden, so. Uh, I appreciate that that number pretty much. What's your motivation for getting up to go training every day? My my motivation is to play in the National Hockey League one day and uh, like the love of the game pretty yeah. much. Okay, really love it. Love getting better. And the way the the way our Vancouver Canucks are playing right now, we you could end up over here in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you, we, we, we love our Swedish players out here. You know that. We've had lots of the good Swedish players play out here in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you mirror your game after or try and play like? I, I really like uh, watching Matthew Barsal. Yeah. Uh, I think he's a really smooth skater, a great puck projector, and he's like a really fun, fun player to watch. 
Yeah, we we love him because he's from our hometown. We're all we're all from the same city here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He, li- he lives he, he he lives about ten minutes away from where we live right now. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So we love we love the Barzell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any uh, pregame meals or rituals? I know I like uh, pasta before games. Pasta with some sauce or some bolognese. Yep. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Then I, I don't know if I have some routines. Trying to take a nap in the days. Yeah. Like getting on the uh, morning skate and then go for lunch and then home, get a nap and get ready for the game. That's pretty much it. Uh, do you put? Uh, your left no Mike no um, I'm going to shoot the next question here uh, what motivates you every day as both an athlete and a person what motivates me yeah like what kind of person are you trying to be I'm trying to be a person that see, see positive things in everything I do uh, even if it's off or on the ice, I try to like have fun in what I do, uh, like yeah, find joy in everything and uh, be a kind guy. Okay. Do you have a favorite sports hero? Sports hero, I uh, I kind of got that from uh, Michael Jordan that the, the Last Dance. Yeah, was so impressed of. How he is, how he is as a person, and uh, the, that winning mentality. Yeah, that's definitely that. That was a great show. Uh, the, the way they did that whole documentary. Yeah, it's a really good one. Sorry, guys, my Wi-Fi screwed up there. I'm back. Yeah, I um, asked him the sports hero question. Okay, perfect. Um, you've represented our, you've represented your country before. What's it like putting that jersey on? Yeah, it's like the dream. Actually, play for your country. It's like when we grew up, we wanted to play for you, for your country, and it's a, such a huge honor to just put out that that jersey. So, yeah, I'm really thankful for that. Okay, we're gonna hit you with some uh, draft questions here. Uh, these are ones you're gonna hear this year, guaranteed from scouts. Uh, Ryan, go ahead. Uh, first one is: If you were an animal, what would you be? Oh. I think uh, a lion, maybe. Good. Yeah, we hear that a lot. The king of the jungle. Yeah, so like laying there in the sun and yeah, <laughs> having a nice time in the jungle. Yeah, yeah right. that's right. That's you right. Lay, lay there and soak up the sun, <laughs> like my um, dog. Uh, another one is uh, there's a twenty dollar bill on the counter or a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of the toilet. Which one are you going for? Can you repeat? Yeah, there's a twenty dollar bill on the top of yeah. a counter, or a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of the toilet. Which one are you going for? A hundred. Yeah. Good choice. Because they. The reason- yeah, the scouts want to see that you get your hands dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for that. Sh- shoot the last one, Mike. Which one? The, oh, the uh, uh, at the bar. Yeah. So uh, if your team's all out celebrating after a big win and it's your uh, friend's birthday and you guys are all having drinks, you're having a good time after a big win. Now, the coach told you guys 11 o'clock curfew. Half the team leaves. Half the team stays. What do you do? I, I leave, actually. Good, good, good. choice. That's good the choice. right answer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the favorite arena you've ever played in? Favorite, uh, I love my home arena like right now. Uh, Johannes Hov is a great, uh, great atmos- atmosphere there when you when you get the fans around. So I really like that arena. Okay. Do Do you have a favorite sports movie? I The Last Dance, if you can yeah. call that a movie or something. Yeah, okay. But I, I really like The Last Dance. It was a, yeah. impressed of that one. Okay. Um, have you tried the Michigan or lacrosse goal yet? Oh, I haven't. I don't. 
I haven't done that. No. no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Maybe you want to do it one day? Yeah, of course. That's that's a dream, actually. Yeah, that's but, my dream yeah. too. I try to do that in beer league. <laughs> We, we have uh, we, we we as we as Canucks fans out here, we have the best at it, and that's Nils Hoglander. We're just waiting yeah, for him to we're waiting for him to do it in the NHL. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. So yeah. good. He, he he's really good. The, uh, if you could sit down for dinner with anyone famous, who would it be? Dead or alive? Dead or alive? That would be Michael Ewer. Michael, okay, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> really. Really like the way he like uh, played in that in that movie or in the last dance. He was yeah, really yeah. impressed of him. Yeah, just talk to him. It would be cool to pick his brain. He has so much to yeah. say and so much. Yeah. How about stick tape? What color is your stick tape? I go with the white one. Okay, that's me too. I'm a white oh, the the white stick tape kind of guy. Yeah. You go full like blade. A, I go full blade and then I'll take like a puck and like what do you call it? Like drag on yeah, the white tape. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what okay. I do too. I do that as well. One time oh, hang on, hang on. One time, listen to this story. I had the white tape and I took my I took a puck and I traced it with the Sharpie and I put three pucks. It looked like three pucks along my stick blade. So I colored it in with the Sharpie and made it look like there was three pucks on my stick. Like I was out there at beer league hockey <laughs> trying to do that. <laughs> uh, what's your go-to uh, celebration? Your go-to celly? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting happy. So I don't have a, a <laughs> celebration actually. Uh, putting my hands in the air. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite music before games? My favorite. And I don't know. Actually, I like hip hop. Yeah. Stuff like that. English, English hip hop or like North American hip hop or? Uh, it's mixed. No, oh, okay. Mixed. Not, yep. I don't have any favorite. Okay. Uh, oh. William, William, take me back to your first SHL goal. Yeah. It was, uh, it was at, I guess, Malmo, I think. And, um, uh, we uh, we had they had a six on five against us and they had a, a empty net so I saw I saw the guy in their team passing up to the D man and uh, the puck like uh, bounced over his stick so I just like skated everything I could to to get a puck and uh, and luckily I get the right right bounce and uh, it went into the net so it was an amazing feeling awesome. What's one thing that you always do after a good performance? I'm trying to have that feeling, you know, uh, have that nice feeling when when you do something good and remember that. Yeah, I think that. If uh, take me back to the Halinka tournament, that was a good one for you. Um, you guys got a bronze medal. Uh, take me back to that tournament. It was a really, really fun tournament. Uh, so uh, we were, yeah, we had some. Well, I, I think our team did did great there. Uh, we had the bronze. It was was nearly uh, beating the Canada in the semifinals. Uh, it was a tough one there, but uh, yeah, it was a fun tournament. Uh, got the you know, the coaches was uh, believing believing me, so I got my uh, much ice time there and. Uh, yeah, I really, really liked that tournament. It was a fun one. So talking about talking about Sweden prospects, uh, have you ever had a chance to skate with Ilyash Pedersen or uh, Nils Hoglander? No, I haven't. But I, I met uh, Nils Hoglander. He's a real, real good player. Yeah, you know, we just met him a few. Uh, I met him a couple weeks ago, actually, here in Vancouver. Yeah, very, very nice guy. How do you call him the butterfly? Yeah. How do you cut? How do you call them the butterflies before a game? Butterflies? You get butterflies? Like, like nerves? Ner like nerves? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes, but you have to like learn to how to control them, and uh, yeah, just like go out and play. 
Yep. Yep. Uh, you're, I know you're good friends with Alexander Holtz and he's a teammate of yours. What have you learned from him on and off the ice? Uh, yeah, he's a really good friend of mine. And since I was a little kid, and so learn how, trying to learn out, out of him how to shoot, really how to be good at shooting and uh, getting into the open spaces for, for a good shot. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's really putting in the work every day. So I, I really, we're competing against each other every day. So yeah. that's, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? What do you think makes a good captain? A good captain, uh, a guy that sees everybody in the team, uh, a guy that leads, uh, like by example, and on the ice and off the ice, and is is really like wanting to win every day in practice and and in game. So, yeah, that's a that's a great leader, captain leader. Okay. If a if a scout or GM were to ask uh, William, what do you bring to the table? Uh, I bring a hard hard working every day, uh, willing to get to get better every day, um, and uh, want to be an offensive threat in the, and be be good in all all three zones. So I want to have like my playmaking and uh, uh, yeah, make up space for my teammates and. Yeah, make uh, scoring chances. Of course. If you well, you'd, pl- l- you'd look really good in blue and green, so hopefully hey, our, you end up here. <laughs> our Canuck colors, we'd love to have you on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Good. And we definitely love good. our Swedes, like Mike was saying earlier. Um, If you could play one other sport, what would it be? Well, I think... I don't know, actually. I... Like I like soccer. Okay. I okay. played when I was a little kid, so that's that's the one. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite sports quote, or is there something that a coach told you one time that sticks with you forever? Uh, I don't know actually, <laughs> but that one is uh, I'm trying to like. Some of like you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Yeah. the Wayne Gretzky, the Wayne Gretzky one, the great, the greatest ever. Yeah, (laughs) I I, I was saying that's how I do my dating life. I miss I I miss every chance I don't take. (laughs) Uh, William, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time for us today. Uh, We cannot wait to see you get drafted, man. We know you're gonna go far in hockey and. We're big fans of yours. We're big, big fans of yours for a long time. We try and watch as many highlights as we can out here. Um, we wish you the best of luck, and we can't wait to see you get drafted this year. And we'd almost love to have you. Would love to have you back on closer to the draft, perhaps. Yeah, perfect. Make, we make that out. Yeah. All right.